Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I have a really, really fun gift card holder to show you today. It's called the Diagonal Pocket Folded Gift Card Holder from a demonstrator, a dear friend, her name is Lisa Bowden. We'll link her blog in the notes below so you can go and check her out. She's an amazing demonstrator, and it was recently shared with us in a card contest that we held during one of our events. She kindly shared with me the measurements for this project and we took it and made a few different um, designs so that you can learn this technique as well. Okay, so here is Lisa's design, her original design that she shared with me. Isn't that so cute? It creates two pockets. You've got one here where you can put your gift card and then you've got one here that you can put your note. Just slide it in right there. It uses a big piece of designer series paper on the front and I'm going to show you how to cut and fold that today so that you can create your own gift card holder. So here's the template that you're going to use to create this gift card holder. And I wrote it out on paper so that you could see it just for your reference, but I'm going to show you how to do this as well. You need to start with a five and a quarter by 12 inch piece of designer series paper. Now you could use cardstock, but it would be pretty bulky. So I would suggest using a designer series paper for this. One thing about Stampin' Up! designer series paper is that our designer series paper is all double-sided. And so for projects like these, it makes it just have a really cool look because it's going to show both of the designs of the paper um, and coordinate really, really well. So again, here's the template. This is kind of our end piece we're going to end up with. You need a five and a quarter by 12 inch piece of designer series paper. We're going to go ahead and score that paper at four inches and eight inches. So I'll bring in my trimmer here, my paper trimmer, and I'm gonna do this just right on my trimmer. I'm gonna take my piece of designer series paper. I'm gonna get my scoring blade set up here and I'm gonna score it at four inches. And then again at eight inches. And I think maybe you can see it on that side a little bit better. So it's gonna fold into my little accordion fold like this. Okay, it's gonna show the orange and then go back like that. But now I need to cut it just like this so that this little strip will be gone and it will create kind of that diagonal look. So I'm gonna take right here on my paper and I'm gonna measure two inches and I'm gonna make a little mark at two inches right here on my designer series paper on the side. You can use a little pencil mark. I'm gonna use pen because it's just a little easier for everyone to see on the camera. And then I'm gonna bring it back in and I'm gonna use my cutting tool on my trimmer this time. I'm gonna line up my two inches right here at the top of my trimmer with the cutting path. And I'm gonna put the end of my trimmer or of my designer series paper right here in the cutting path. So what that's going to do is make this side short and this side tall. And let me show you what that looks like here. Cut that off at a little diagonal. So then I'm, when I accordion fold it, this is my back piece. This is my middle piece and there's my front piece. And I'm going to get that really cool effect of the diagonal fold. Okay, so when you adhere this little piece of, pa of designer series paper together, you want to do it, we like to use this green glue because it gives you a little line of adhesive so that you can still fit your note and your gift card in your pockets that you're creating. So I'm gonna take green glue and I'm gonna layer it here on the back and the bottom and this other side. I'm just going to do a thin line around there. I'm going to bring it over and press it down to create my little pocket here. You don't want to do the top. We want to leave that open so that our card can fit in. I'm just going to hold that down for a second so it can grab it. And then on the front, again, instead of putting it on this side and guessing where the things are, I'm going to do it on the front. So a little thin line on the edge 
And you don't necessarily have to do the inside because that is folded, but I did. And press it down and hold it. Green glue does dry clear, so if it, you did a little bit too much, it's not going to show through as soon as your project's dried. So that's how we make our little pocket there. You've got your little pocket for your gift card and for your note right there. It's going to show off your designer series paper and hold your gift card. So cute. The base for this gift card holder is a piece of cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And you would just layer it just like that. So let me show you some ideas we've come up with using the diagonal pocket folded gift card holder. Here's this one using that designer series paper that I showed you with the example. Here's the little paper that just slides right inside there. And then there's a little spot here for my gift card. Just want to say thank you. It's the nicest way to say thank you. Here's a little masculine one that I came up with as well with the little inside and the, the good things in life are better with you. Just so quick and easy. There's such a fun technique that really makes it easy to throw something together for the person you want to celebrate. And here is Lisa Bowden's idea, her original idea again. Loved it so much that she was so willing to share this diagonal pocket folded gift card holder with us. So I hope you've enjoyed this technique and you can take this template and make it your own and use it to celebrate the people in your life. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch a Weekly Wednesday.